Okay, I'm going to uh, run through the process of booting a Tandy Portable Disk Drive 2 from its utility disk, uh, installing the, the DOS uh, called Floppy, and um, using the backup program that comes on that disk to make a copy of the utility disk, make a new copy of the utility disk, and, uh, and then wipe the machine and reinstall the DOS from the new copy utility disk uh, just to show that it works. So this is a, a Tandy Model 102 a portable computer and um, a Tandy Portable Disk Drive 2. Um, both, current, both just on battery power. connected with a serial cable that comes with it. So the starting with the model with the computer freshly wiped I'll just wipe it again just to um, just to go through the motions. Turn the memory power off. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Let's count a few seconds. Turn the memory power back on, and uh, okay. So nice person in New Zealand uh, mailed made a made a copy of his utility disk and mailed it to me. So because that. So far to date, uh, as of right now, come on, focus, I can't believe this focus does not work. How is this so bad? There we go. Uh, a nice person in New Zealand mailed me, um, made a copy of his utility desk and mailed me, a, mailed me two copies. And I have since used it to make my own new copy of the utility disk because so far there's no other way to make a copy of the utility disk um, and there's no other DOS that can make that can do that can allow uh, sector level access to the disk or can make a full disk a full copy of a disk so even though there's a few other DOSs out there there's Teeny and Tiny and TS DOS and TS random you still need the original disk that came with it especially for TP especially for uh, portable disk drive 2 versus 1 TS random was a DOS uh, a third party DOS that uh, could do random access but uh, only for TPDD not TPDD2 so now we pretend this is the disk that came with the machine and I'll use it to install DOS and use DOS to run the backup program to make a copy. So blank model 100 or model 102 in this case. And the directions are, you can google these directions up uh, if you google TPDD2 booting instructions uh, you get a, a text document on Club 100 website. Uh, but the gist of it is to uh, run this run this command in basic and then and then turn the disk on like start with the disk turned off I'll also the full instructions make sure to um, make sure that your source disk is right protected I guess I should back up a little bit the disks you want to use are ideally um, double density, not not high density. Uh, so the double density are a little harder to find. I think the high density does work. Um, uh, 
the guy who mailed me his copies of his disc sent me one of each, one double density, one high density. So I'm guessing that means the high density do work, but it, this drive is really much older than that, so the double density is probably the best. I mean, that was certainly the disc that came with it would have been a double density. So, and you can tell by looking at a disc if it only has one hole in the corner. Uh, high densities have a hole in each corner. And the holes mean different things. So when there's only one hole, the hole is for 720K disc, aka double density. And the hole means to write protect or not write protect. So with the hole open, it's write protected. When you buy the discs new, they come they come with the hole closed with the little door closed because when you buy a new blank disc generally you want to write to it so you don't want it right protected and you only want to write protect it uh, for special special cases so this disc I've already copied my utility disc and now it's a now it's a reference copy for me and so I want that right protected especially when you're making copies where you have to flip the disc back and forth between source and destination, you really want the source right protected just in case you screw it up and put the wrong disc in at the wrong time. So, uh, the other hole on a high density disc uh, doesn't have a door on it, it's just always open, and that tells the drive that it's a high density disc. So, but in this case you want the double density, only one hole, and for, for your source disk, you want to open that hole, and for your destination disk, you want to leave it closed, and that's just a little door that slides whichever way you want. Okay, so, the directions are to start with the drive turned off. It's off right now. And um, put, the drive, put the disk in. Run that basic program. That little, that one line of basic. Okay, don't need a closing quote. So you run that, hit enter. Now I turn the drive on. And that's it. So that word floppy that's there now wasn't there before which is your DOS. So, floppy version two. Uh, TPDD1 works somewhat differently. So, it also has a DOS, it's also called floppy, although it would say floppy.co. Uh, but the boot process is different and the way the disk is um, stored, the way the f command, uh, the way the program is stored on the on the Model 100 and on the disc is different. Uh, so now I'm just going to uh, list the files, the F1 key, will list the files on this disc. You know, currently the disc that's in the drive is the same utility disc I just booted from. And um, we want to copy backup.ba to RAM. So I'll do load, F2 load. It's going to list the files again. I'll say backup.ba. All right. I'm just going to say B, I'm going to just call it BU in RAM. Just a shorter. So now it's copying backup.ba to RAM. F8 menu. There's my backup.ba, and uh, 
I'm just going to run it. Insert blank disk. Okay. Here's my blank disk. Doesn't say anything about the right protect, but it will later for the source disk. So you don't have to format the disk first. The backup program uh, does a format as its first step. Apologize for the focus on my phone. Must be verifying now because it's moving, it's making a faster noise. Okay. Insert source disk. And like it says, keep source disk right protected, so, you know, that's the little. That's the hole you can see through there. Like this. This is all just on batteries. Do this on the table at the coffee shop. Maybe I will just for giggles. Okay. So, <laughs> kind of crude, it's done, but the backup program just leaves you in basic. You, you have no idea. You can't tell that that's what's going on, but it's just you're in basic right now. If I type run, it would run the backup program again. So, a little hokey there, but the backup is done. So now, I will write protect this disk, all right, and um, let's use it to prove that it works. So, as you can see here, now this machine has floppy and bu.ba in there. I'm going to uh, wipe it to start fresh. It's cleared. 
Uh, and now we can start over using the new disk. Those same directions. Turn the disk drive off. Okay, turn the disk drive on. Bam, and there we are. Good to go. New utility desk. Now we got a new utility desk. There we go. That's it, start to finish.